So today we're going to look at how to look for a pneumothorax on a chest x-ray. The most important place to look for a pneumothorax is the lung apex. So I don't consider a chest x-ray fully looked at until I've zoomed right up on the apices. So let's have a look here. Why do we look at the apices? Well, in pneumothorax, you've got gas in the lining of the lung between the visceral and the parietal pleuris. And when the patient's sitting up or standing up, that gas will go to the top of the lung, which is why most commonly you'll see it at the lung apices. So here, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for a black area of lung, essentially, without any lung markings. Here I can see lung markings. So that looks OK. I don't think there's any pneumothorax here. And it's important to look between the ribs. That's where it's most you're most likely to see the problem. Let's have a look on the other side. And here I can just about see some lung markings as well. So no pneumothorax in this case. So here's another case. Let's have a look firstly at the right apex. Here, I think I can see lung markings here. I can't see any pleural lines. So what you see with a pneumothorax, the visceral and the parietal layers will separate. And you should be able to see the visceral pleura as a thin white line which parallels the chest wall and I can't see any evidence of that here. So neither of those two things, no pneumothorax on the right. So let's have a look on the other side. Are there lung markings here? So if you're not sure, we can compare to the other side. I can see lung markings on this side, but over here, there's nothing. So you've got to suspect there could be a pneumothorax. What else could it be? Well, sometimes bully in the context of emphysema can give you the same appearance of a lucency. What you won't get with emphysema, though, is you won't get the pleural line which parallels a chest wall and almost look quite circular in terms of the bully. Can we see a pleural line then? Well, if we look a bit lower down, I think we can just about make out a white thin line over here. And you can follow it all the way down. So here what you've got is the lung has come away from the chest wall in that there's gas separating the visceral and parietal pleura. So this is a pneumothorax. Why does the patient have a pneumothorax in this case? Well, let's have a look at the lung. In this case, we can see you've got the hilum here. So here's the pulmonary arteries and veins branching up into the upper lobes. You've got the lower lobe vessels coming down here. What is unusual though, is you've got another opacity. So the region adjacent to the hilum is a place where commonly nodules get missed and you don't want to miss a nodule in this region. And this here is a suspicious lung nodule. This is an X-ray of a patient who's had a lung biopsy and they've got a pneumothorax after their biopsy. Also a pneumothorax is a bit more obvious than the last one because it's not just restricted to the lung apex. But still, you're looking for those same two cardinal signs. Number one, a lucency where black lung with no lung markings, and number two, a pleural white line. So let's have a look. So at the apex, it's a little tricky to see, but you just get the impression that there is a pleural line here. And if you come all the way down, you'll see it goes all the way down the side. So this is a pleural line, which importantly parallels the chest wall. Now this can be more tricky in ITU patients who are supine. And in those patients, a pneumothorax may simply present as what we call a deep sulcus sign. Um, but in most patients who come through the doors of ED, you're looking for those same two cardinal signs, lack of lung markings and a pleural line. I hope you found this case helpful. If you did, please do subscribe for more tutorials on radiology.